What's up Archie Squad, long time no see, it's me your boy Leon and I will be your guide to all things architecture. Today we are going to talk about some creative architecture portfolio ideas. Nowadays, it's not enough to have a great collection of works. You now also have to be super extra to stand out. And by that, I mean you have to go a step further to separate yourself from other applicants. Because unlike before where only a few people take architecture, now there's a ton of competition when you're applying into architecture schools or architectural firms to work in. So if you do the same things that other applicants are doing, chances are that you are going to be overlooked and possibly rejected. And that's why I came up with this video to give you guys a few ideas on some creative ways to make a killer portfolio that will help you guys get accepted. Portfolio idea number one, a 3D virtual reality portfolio. High tech. So for this, all you are going to need is a phone, preferably one with a large screen, and a PC that can render stuff, and lastly, this cheap VR foldable goggles thingy. So you can get many types of VR goggles, but I prefer this one because it's cheap, and you know, it's foldable, so it folds up into this tiny thing that can fit into this small box right here. The beauty of this one is you can even give it to your interviewer for bonus points, aka bribery. <laughs> Anyways, all you have to do is render a 360 VR image of a house or a gallery with your works posted around the walls or ceiling or anywhere as long as it can be seen. So this makes the viewer feel that they are inside your studio viewing your works and makes viewing your portfolio a very unique experience. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description below to a video tutorial I made on how to create a 360 VR image and how to import it into your phone. So you guys can make your own 3D VR portfolio. Okay, let's move on to portfolio idea number two. So this one is what I call the Magic Cube portfolio. One debt to society later. So to make one of these contraptions, we are going to need eight cubes that measure four centimeters in all axes. You can make this by downloading a cube cut out from Google, then print it out on a thick stock of paper, then cut it out and assemble. You're also going to need a printout of the images that you are going to place into your magic cube portfolio. So for this, you have to print out two images that are eight by eight centimeters and four images that are eight by 16 centimeters, two of which are portrait and then two are landscape. So once you have all that, you now just have to connect your cubes together. Start by connecting them in pairs. When that's done, place two pairs with joints or connections facing down on opposing sides. Then place two pairs with the joints facing outward in between the first two pairs. Now we just connect our leftmost pair with our left center pair and we do the same thing with our right side. And voila! All that's left to do is to attach your images onto your magic cubes. So for this, it is advisable that you print your images on sticker papers. Unfortunately for me, I had a severe lapse of judgment and printed it onto a thick paper. This made it harder to fold the cube, so don't be like me. <laughs> print your pictures into sticker papers and avoid having your cube look as bad as mine. <laughs> but in my defense, I rushed making this cube. So yeah, that's why it looks bad. Bruh. Anyways, that's how to make a magic cube portfolio. I swear if you guys show up at an interview with this, I guarantee that your interviewer is gonna have his mind go poof. It's gonna explode, plop out into the table in front of you, man. It's just magic. And Master of Illusion, Dirk Hanston. Anywho, let's move on to our third and last portfolio idea, which is not as wild as the first two, but I think this is my favorite. So this is called the swatch folio. Basically, you will make a portfolio in a swatch format. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. So all you have to do is print out a bunch of your works onto a thick stock of paper. So for this one, I divided an A4 sized paper into 10 parts. After that, I just cut it out, then fastened them with these screw post binders. And bingo, bango, bongo, you now have a super portable portfolio that you can give away to your interviewers 
your clients or even your family members if you forgot to buy them birthday presents. Anyways, this is my favorite because it is the cheapest and easiest one to create and I'm just a sucker for swatches. So whenever there's an architect's convention, I just gather as much swatches that I can. Yeah, and also small things fascinate me. So yeah, just make sure that the interviewer has good eyesight so they can fully appreciate your tiny works of architecture. And with that being said, I guess it is the end of this video. I hope I inspired you guys to get creative with your portfolios and to think out of the box. And always remember that hard work plus creativity equals awesome. I don't know what that means. That super made no sense. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Subscribe to join the Artie Squad. Flying peace. <laughs>